Over the past few months, I've made videos on how to remote play your PS4 games to your Android device, your Mac, and your PC. I have links to those videos in the description below or annotated on the screen right now. But Sony has never released an official way to remote play from your PS4 over to any iOS device. Hackers haven't done it, and Sony hasn't done it. Until now. Now a third party company has released a new application on the iOS app store called PlayerCast. It currently costs $9.99 and it's the only way to officially remote play from your PS4 over to your iOS device without any other program or application or hardware. So today I'm going to show you guys how this application works and how you can use it for yourself. So first things first is to go ahead and buy PlayerCast on the App Store. It costs $9.99 and it works on iPad and iPhone. Open up the application and go ahead and register your PS4. It'll ask you for your username, just enter the PSN account you're going to use, and then it'll ask you for your manual device number. Now we're going to go ahead and switch over to the PS4, go to System Settings, go down to Remote Play, and Add Device. The PS4 will give you a number to enter on your iPad. Go ahead and enter that number and click register and you should be set to go. Now on your iOS device, just go ahead and click play and you should automatically remote play over to your PS4. If you have some issues, you probably typed in your PSN name wrong. Make sure it's exactly how you spell it. If there's a capital letter in there, make sure it's correct. And also you're going to need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. So presumably you're going to want to have your PS4 connected to either Wi-Fi or through the Ethernet cable. And your iPad or iPhone should be on the Wi-Fi network that your PS4 is on. As of right now, you have to be on the same network. You can't be on LTE on your iPhone and then have your PS4 back at home. They need to be on the same network. And that's pretty much the basic steps. You should be able to now use your PS4 on your iOS device with touchscreen controls. You can also go to the settings of the PlayerCast application and customize the way the application looks. You can change the size of the controls. You can change the resolution of the stream or the frame rate of the stream. At max settings, the application supports 720p at 60 frames per second. Now technically speaking, you can directly connect your DualShock 4 over to your iPad or your iPhone. So if you want to use a controller with the setup where you use your iOS device as a TV and then you use a controller, you'll need to do this workaround. You're going to need two PSN accounts. The PSN account that you actually use that has all your game purchases on, and then the second dummy PSN account. A second one that you just make up for the hell of it. Once you have these two PSN accounts on your PS4, you're going to want to re-download the application on your iPad or iPhone and re-register your PS4. But instead of using the PSN account that you would normally use, use the second dummy or the fake account and go ahead and re-register your PS4 like we did before. What this is doing is making your iPad the dummy account. Now you can just go ahead and press the PlayStation button on your DualShock 4 and log into your official account, your real one, with all your games on it, and now you should be set to go. You can play all your games that you would have on your real account and use your iPad as a TV or a monitor to play your games with a controller. Now keep in mind your DualShock 4 is still connected to your PS4, not the iPad. So you want to be at least within Bluetooth range of your DualShock 4 and your PS4. And that's pretty much it for the tutorial. As you can see from the gameplay on my end, there's little to no latency between the iPad and the PS4. It's pretty quick as my internet connection is pretty decent. So the better your internet connection, the better response or the better quality gameplay you'll get on your iPad or your iPhone. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by giving me a like or commenting below or subscribing for more content like this. If you have any questions about the tutorial, anything I can help you with, let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer those questions. In the meantime, you can check out these two videos I just put up. I put up a review of No Man's Sky. You might want to go ahead and check that out. As always, thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.